Hello everyone, I am Harsh Tiwari, a banking enthusiast. The topic that we are going to discuss today is account aggregation. A news around account aggregation network is making rounds since last few days. Eight major banks in India, which have likes of State Bank of India and HDFC Bank, have joined the account aggregator network. The objective is to enable customers to easily access and share their financial data. So the question that comes is, what is account aggregation? Account aggregation is a framework, I repeat, it is a framework which is created to ensure that an enterprise which we call as MSMEs or a retail user like you and me are able to use our digital footprints. Let us take an example. Today, if an individual needs a loan, there is a certain set of documents that are to be furnished. For example, last six month salary slips or transactional background, which is account statement in most of the cases or any previous loan history and whatnot. The problem is that these documents are all scattered with different banks. Account aggregation is a framework that precisely is looking to solve this problem. And how? It will be done by consolidating all financial data of users in one place. And of course, the benefit will be extended to various services such as credit service as we just talked about. Now, no more running around the banks. Instead, an aggregator will do all the job of fetching digital data from multiple financial information providers. We call it as FIPs. And these FIPs are nothing but banks. And giving it to financial information users, which we call as FIUs. And these as well can be banks or say, for example, loan processing agency in the example as we just now took. Now I have used two terminologies. I have used a word which is account aggregator and I've used a word which is account aggregation. So the another question is, what is the difference between an account aggregator and account aggregation? So let's start with account aggregator. Account aggregator is nothing but it is a consent manager to manage the permission for sharing financial data. So of course it is my financial data. So I have to give consent if someone can use that data. What is account aggregation? Again, as we discussed, it is a framework. It is an architectural setup whereby data from one or several accounts by banks, NBFCs, mutual funds, etc. are stored at one place. Now, there are multiple account aggregators who have got approval in principle by Reserve Bank of India that those NBFCs are now allowed to be account aggregators. It is worth mentioning a name making rounds in the month of August, which we all know it as phone pay. It is a Walmart owned uh, uh, UPI application. And on August 26, it got principal approval from Reserve Bank of India to act as account aggregator. So what can be an account aggregator? Can bank be an account aggregator? The answer is no. Non-banking financial companies, which are also called as NBFCs, that are registered and regularized by Reserve Bank of India can undertake the business of account aggregator. It has also been mandated by RBI that business of an account aggregator will be entirely information technology driven. Since security is always at the heart of any digital revolution and it has been making rounds with innovations like Aadhaar, hence it is required that account aggregators shall have adequate safeguards built in its IT systems to ensure that it is well protected against any unauthorized access or destruction or dissemination of records and data. So who are the different parties involved in the framework which we call as account aggregation? So we have used terms like FIPs and FIUs. So let, let me again put light to it. FIP is nothing but financial information provider which holds data of the individual or MSMEs. Those could be banks, NBFCs, or AMCs, etc. The second party is FIU, which is financial information user. It is an entity that consumes the end data received from FIP to provide financial products to the end customer. And the third party, of course, is the end customer that could be an individual like you or me, and it could be an enterprise as any of the MSMEs. 
So with with this framework or this architecture in picture, let me put the closing comment to our discussion now. We should not limit this framework to financial activities. You know, it will limit the framework capabilities is, is my view. It shall be viewed as industry agnostic. It has many use cases in health or skill or even education industry. Real time availability of data will benefit involved parties. It's a win win situation, not only for FI use, because they will benefit by de-risking loan books that they currently have. It is a win-win situation for FIPs because they will benefit from the reciprocity incentive. And of course, the end user will save money, time and effort by not running around with hard copies, shorten KYC life cycle and instant loan approval to name a few. It will be exciting to have a multi-banking experience where FinTech and FIs can play a pivotal role in assimilating information that was before siloed. We all have experienced robo advisory services by individual banks, but now it's going to be more interesting and that too in real time. Let me give you a few examples. If I have to check what is my cash liquidity across accounts, or if I want to know that how much did I spend on shopping across all of my accounts, or if I can ask a robo, please suggest which account to use for payment ensuring sweeping FD of mine are not being diluted. Now this gives enormous opportunity to strengthen rule based engines in the field of data analytics. By the way, with all this information in mind, please do Google few more points such as what is PSD2, the parallel between PSD2 and account aggregation, RBI's roadmap for account aggregator and its use cases. If you also want to know about the technical architecture around it, please feel free to visit Rebit. It is a technology website of Reserve Bank of India in which they have very categorically informed all the involved parties that what APIs are to be built around to make this network success. That's all for today, friends. We will meet again soon. Thank you.